welcome back to Cherishing Flow. Hi, Cherishing Flow fam. I know that it's been a while. I have not kept up to my schedule. Not even kind of. I really don't even know when was the last time that I posted something. Like, I don't know. And I have planned plenty of videos. Like, the only, there's no excuse. I have just been lazy and unmotivated and distracted i mean i have done i've been doing a whole lot of other things you know i have my blog and i've still been doing that so if you follow my blog if you're subscribed to my blog if you're not subscribed to my blog go subscribe to my blog please if you are then you know already that <clears throat> i've stuck to my schedule as far as that is concerned and i've been sick a lot lately if you can hear it in my voice i probably shouldn't even be doing this video because i have to keep it at the octave that i'm at right now because if I go a little bit higher, you can hear me. See, I don't even know if that made a sound, but that was just me changing my octave just a little bit. So, um, yeah, I apologize for that, but I'm gonna try my best to get back on it and bring more content for you guys because you have continued to be supportive and I just love it so much. So, without further ado, um, let's get into the video. Um, today's video is going to be at about how to be consistent and the reason why I'm doing this video is because um, I haven't been consistent and it's been really difficult for me I've been doing so many different things so here's a video on how this video is supposed to be about how to be consistent and accomplish your goal first thing that I'm going to say is something that I've used a lot lately for myself and because I'm forgetful if you were like me and you're forgetful and you're always always being like oh I was supposed to do that today and you have a planner and you check it in the morning you're like okay, I'm gonna do this 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 that and at the end of the day there's always something that you didn't do reminders use the reminders app in your phone it is the best thing since sliced bread, people. Like, I love the Reminders app in my phone. And if you don't have the Reminders app, then use your Alarms app. Use whatever it is in your phone that'll go ding, 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 and make a bunch of noise to remind you and to keep you accountable for whatever it is that you need to do. The second thing is know your why. That's something that I used to hear all the time and it never used to like really hit home with me until lately when my why became more, when I started to realize what my why was. When I started to realize what I was passionate about and what kind of life I wanted to live and what did I wanted to do for people, it made viewing my why a lot easier. Like as unmotivated as I have been and as hard as it's been for me to do all the things I've been doing lately, you guys, my blog subscribers, and people that support me on all of my social media sites, links will be below, all of that, that's really been, it's pushed me because you guys are why I do this. You guys are the reasons, especially my blog subscribers. Like, you guys are so amazing and you reach out to me and you, and you encourage me because you say that I've encouraged you and that means so much and that's my why. I want to inspire people and all of that keeps me going. So find your why, find your reason for pushing, find your reason for wanting to accomplish that goal. The third thing is kind of goes in with remembering your why is visualization. That's something that I've come across recently as well is putting yourself in the mindset, like just close your eyes and visualize where you want to be. Visualize you, picture it, imagine it, play the movie in your head of you being who you want to be in life and where you want to be in life. If you do that every single morning when you're finished with your routine or in the midst of your routine and you just remind yourself of why you're doing this and by, by visualizing it, seeing it for yourself, not only does it make it feel more tangible, but it gives you an energy that you're just, it's hard to explain. It gives you a certain type of energy that just tells you like, I can do this, I'm going to do this, and I can see it. You can see it. The fourth thing is focus on the step-by-step -step process. I know I just said visualize where you want to be, but don't worry about how far that seems. You don't have to worry about everything that you have to do right now. Focus on what your next step is. I um, read a book and it was talking about that. Um, I don't really remember what the book is because I've read a lot of books in the past uh, couple of months. But I read a book. If I can remember it, I'll, t I'll put it down in the description below. But <clears throat> I read a book and it was talking about remembering your very next step. And as far as goals and everything is concerned, the rest of it, you just don't stress about it. That's going to come when it comes. But right now, that next step, that's what you need to see. See that. 
focus on that put that down let that be what you visualize yourself doing because worrying about the long haul will only stress you out it'll all feel overwhelming and it's not it's not productive um if you see me looking down it's because i keep looking at my handy dandy no the fifth thing is don't sweat the small stuff do not worry about things that you cannot control if something bad happened and it sets you back okay it's done no point in stressing about it no point in worrying about it if you're waiting for like approval on something if you have a business there's no point in stressing and worrying about it you can't do anything about what those people do once you give them your your project or your proposal once you've done that that's it it's out of your hands don't sweat it don't sweat things that are not in your control. All you need to worry about, and really not even worry, the only thing you need to think about is what you can do to make your dreams come true. At the end of the day, it is you that's going to have to make it happen. You can't depend on anybody else, so worrying about stuff that is not in your control is literally a waste of your time. Next thing that you can do is don't expect perfection and overnight change. I Like I said, the reason why I'm making this video is that I really struggled with this in the past few days like I um, in the past few weeks a few days um, being consistent I've, I'm usually good at being consistent but one a couple of things happened that kind of kind of threw me off balance and after that I just could not get back into the swing of things it's hard I kept trying and then I would skip a day and then all of it would just I would have to start over it's not gonna happen overnight once you have a habit of something you're trying to change one bad habit into a good habit or you're trying to change you know how consistent you are it's not gonna happen overnight do not beat yourself up over it don't expect perfection don't expect your first project to be just a bestseller right off the bat that don't expect that you have to learn from your failures and move forward if you don't fail you don't succeed that's just a fact. If you never fail, how are you going to succeed? How? You have to learn. Success comes from learning and learning comes from failure. So you really have to be open to that and understand that it's not going to be easy and it's not going to happen. Lickety split. The next thing is um, having accountability partners. One of my best friends who um, I've known forever, we both have similar um, goals and we have similar mindsets. And I have other friends that some of them I have similar goals with, some of them I don't. And I've met a lot of bloggers, I've met some YouTubers, I've met other people who do similar things. And <clears throat> having my best friend, the one that lives like across the street, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys about her before, um, Abby Yomi. <laughs> Um, if you've seen any of my previous vlogs, she was in them and me and her, that is definitely like my biggest accountability partner right now. She is somebody who kind of gets on me all the time when I'm slacking and vice versa and that keeps you focused and it makes it not suck as much. When you have somebody who's there like telling you like, hey, you know, you got to get this done and they're saying it like, you know, your best friends, they know how to talk to you in a way where it's like, you know you gotta get this done like for me my friends have to be mean to me people who know me know that you can't be all like oh you know you need to no you have to get on me and be like if you don't get your little behind up and do what you need to do and she's like that and vice versa and having an accountability partner and or somebody who you trust to really hold you accountable it's so helpful because first of all it makes you feel less alone it takes off some of the stress it takes off some of the pressure you have somebody to vent to when you're not feeling motivated accountability partners are i like i ride for them to the max because they've helped me i'm sorry i'm hating the sound of my voice right now like being sick and trying to talk sucks um, the last thing is simple be consistent do it stop whining stop making excuses stop beating yourself up just do it it takes discipline it takes time it takes effort it'll be frustrating sometimes you have to do it when you don't want to because you're not always going to want to i'm pretty sure i've said that before you're not always going to want to there's going to be many 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 times when i first started making this video like when i said i was like okay i need to go ahead and record my video i didn't want to i don't feel good my throat hurts but I haven't made video in weeks and it's trash and there's no excuse for it because I have my stuff here and you know it's not like I was literally laying in my bed before I decided I was going to go ahead and make these videos. So with that being said you know you just got to do it. Be consistent. Work at it every single day. Well, that's all. I think I need like 10 things. I dropped, I dropped my handy dandy notebook. So um, hopefully you guys got something from this. I hope I didn't ramble. My mind is a little like... Um, boggled right now because I'm still sick and my throat hurts <coughs> wait wait <coughs> so 
hopefully you got something from this video if you haven't then you know i'm sorry but like subscribe share with your friends please follow me on all of my social medias below it's gonna be in the description box and you know comment um also oh and in other news i forgot to mention this um me and abby and me have done a collaboration and we've made an e-course i've noticed how a lot of e-courses are like um hundreds of dollars and i've taken some of them and spent those hundreds of dollars and felt like and didn't necessarily feel like just because it was valuable information but i feel like information can be valuable and not cost you a utility bill you know what I'm saying so we made one and it is $25 and I will leave the link to that in the description box below it is all about over um, it's called becoming your ideal self and the point of it is to um, is learning practical ste steps and helpful things to be the best you possible no matter what your dreams are no matter what your goals are no matter what it is that you want to do if you feel discouraged or you feel like you just don't know what steps to take to get where you want to be this is the e-course for you it is super affordable and it's gonna have videos with my face on it <laughs> and it's also gonna have her face on it this could be some pretty good information so if you're interested in that, it'll be in the description box below. Uh, did I say everything I needed to say? Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much, you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.